Welcome to your now, later, or never review of Blumhouse's Truth or Dare, directed by Jeff Wadlow. The film is about a bunch of college kids who play a supernatural and very deadly game of Truth or Dare. Perry, what did you think? Well, if you are a horror lover like me, and especially one who enjoys scenarios where groups are picked off one by one, there's some fun to be had with this one. Okay, there are some serious mythology and rule flaws here. Those truth or dare faces, they're kind of silly and not very scary. And on top of that, there are emotional beats in this movie that don't work as well as I think the filmmakers intended. But the movie has a clever, fun core concept that has this Final Destination-like vibe to it where you're just sitting there waiting to see what crazy inventive kill set piece they can come up with next. And that's the best part of this one. A quiet place is the priority right now, which is why I say for truth or dare, see you later. Barry, you're insane. The film is unoriginal, boring, and the script is a mess. These actors deserve better. You've seen them in Pretty Little Liars, Teen Wolf, and The Flash, but the material lets them down. Wadlow does his best. He keeps this thing moving, and some of the beats hit, but overall, it misses its mark. And some of the leaps in logic are convenient rather than earned. And frankly, the way they treat suicide and a character coming to the closet is a bit offensive. During the last 45 minutes of the movie, people were laughing unironically at the screening we were at. So I say see it never. All right, that is our now, later, or never review of Truth or Dare. Now it is your turn. Hit that comment section below and tell us what do you think? Is Truth or Dare a see it now movie, see it later movie, or a see it never movie? We need to know what you think. We also need you to like and share this video and keep an eye on the Collider Video YouTube channel for more movie reviews. Oh,